Welcome to Star Stories, a collection of the moments that connect us all to something greater than ourselves, the night sky. This is Amy C. Oliver, visitor and science center manager at the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory and your host. Today's star story takes us back to the 1970s, when Marty Sewell of Tubac, Arizona, was working to develop photographic emulsions that would allow scientists to see deeper into the night sky than ever before. Marty eventually captured Stefan's quintet on the 3AJ photographic plate she developed and that scientists relied on for decades. Her story reminds us that sometimes connecting with the night sky is as complicated as photographic science and as simple as taking up a seat on an orange crate. Here's Stefan's Quintet from an Orange Crate by Marty Sewell. I began working at the Eastman Kodak Company in 1970 after getting my bachelor's degree in material science engineering from Northwestern University. My first assignment in the emulsion research division was to design a photographic emulsion that would see twice as far into the universe as the then current glass plates. I was also taking courses in astrophysics for a master's degree, which I got in material science. I worked on finer grained, highly sensitized emulsions. When we were quite sure that I had the proper formulation, 1974 or 1975, I traveled to Kitt Peak National Observatory to try out my plate. It was going to take a two hour exposure on the new 158 inch telescope. Bill Shaning was the photo specialist at the time and helped me for two nights of observation. The first night he had me practice by doing 20 minute exposures on the previous plates. The computer system was not yet set up on the 158 inch telescope, so I had to sit on an orange crate at the top of the telescope, looking into a microscope type of thing. The subject of my photograph was to be Stefan's Quintet, a group of galaxies that could not be seen through the telescope. Thus, I had to keep crosshairs on a guide star. As the telescope tracked, it moved, and I had to scoot around on the orange crate without moving the crosshairs from the guide star. This was quite a challenge, and the plates, when developed, were blurry. The second night, I practiced again with the 20 minute exposures. Finally, Bill said that it was time to put my 3AJ plate in and give it my best shot. I was determined to do my very best. It was quite stressful. In the end, the plate came out quite well. I heard later that someone had actually used it to do some research, although I never found out exactly what was done with it. I have a framed photograph of it after all these years. The 3AJ plate was used for many years before digital photography took over. Star stories bring us together because they tell us something about ourselves. They let us know that no matter what is happening in the world around us, we all have something in common. Our awe for, wonder in, and appreciation of the night sky. To submit your own star story for inclusion in this collection, Send 200 to 300 words detailing your first, best, or most important interaction with the night sky to Whipple Science Center at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day. And as always, keep looking up.